Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video for beginners on some design techniques in easel. I'm going to go over how to kind of manipulate an image, removing a portion of an image that you might not want carved. I also use this technique if uh, for some reason my carve was interrupted and it didn't finish. Um, you can remove a portion of your image uh, that has already been carved and just leave the image uncarved um, so the machine doesn't have to start over from the beginning. So this image here, um, I bought this from Etsy from the seller was Artistock. Um, and as this image sits right now, it's just one combined piece. So I'm unable to remove anything. For instance, if I wanted to add um, some text up here, and these pieces of the flower were in my way. Um, so let me just show you a couple uh, ways you can remove those pieces here. One way is the line tool here. You just want to create um, a box around the image. And if I was actually going to carve this, I would take much more time. Um, click on clear out of pocket and then change your depth to zero. So the machine isn't going to recognize this as needing to be carved. Um, so you can kind of take your box there and move it into place if you didn't get it just right. Um, so it's fine to leave it like this. You can see over here in the generated um, detailed preview, you don't see that portion of the flower. But if you go to, say, resize your image or move the image, um, that box is going to stay in place. And now you can see the flower is still there. So after I um, put that box on top of the image I want to remove, I always select all. And now it's highlighted that box that I just created and combine. So once we do that, you see the box disappeared and so did the flower underneath it. Um, Easel's smart enough to know that when we're creating a box and setting that depth to zero, it's recognizing that we're trying to erase a portion of our carve. So um, now I can move the image around and um, that portion is still gone. So the other way I do this, um, you can use a, a shape and kind of just move it over to the image resize it. Um, depending on the, the size and shape of the portion I'm trying to remove, it depends on if the, the line tool oftentimes works better or a square. Um, but again, same thing. Change that depth to zero. Select all and combine. So I've mentioned before how I like to use the select all as opposed to um, dragging and highlighting. And it's just a way that I double check my work. When I'm designing, I use this blue portion around the white workspace for different images or fonts. Um, and sometimes, you know, those pieces get left behind and you forget they're there. So let me just show you how that works. Um, so if there was something off to the side here, even on the blue portion, the machine is going to recognize that and it's going to try to cut that. So it's not only just going to carve what's on your white work surface, um, it's going to try to go all the way over and hit the rail just to get to this. So if you select all, or um, excuse me, drag and highlight, you're just going to highlight the portion on your work surface. So um, let me pull this back just so you can get a better look here. By selecting all, um, this catches my eye. This tells me there's something else on the work surface that I don't know about. Um, so go over here and just remove that. And then now selecting all. That's what I want to see when I select all. Um, so it's just kind of a way that I check my work um, from experience. <laughs> it happened. My machine hit the rail. So I learned my lesson. Um, so uh, getting back to um, kind of manipulating the image here, like I said before, the other reason I use this technique is when um, I want to recarve a portion of an image um, or if there was static and the machine shut down and I just have a, a portion of the image left to carve. I don't want to start over from the beginning if I don't have to. 
Um, so just blocking out a big portion of the image. You can also do it that way. Um, setting that depth to zero. Same, same, select all and combine. So now the machine is just going to carve this horn here. Um, so I hope you learned something today. Um, good luck.